Hey guys, Zach here, and today I want to talk to you about your personal power and the fact that you have so much more of it than you may realize. You see guys, we all have insecurities. We all have fears. We all have deep-seated beliefs from childhood that tell us in one way or another, we're not good enough. We're not okay. It's not safe to be me. I'm not okay the way I am. And because of that, as we grow into adults, we create these coping and defense mechanisms to prevent us from experiencing pain. Because as a child, what caused us to learn these things is we experience discomfort. And this discomfort really is expressed and felt as trauma. I mean, guys, being really embarrassed can cause trauma. Trauma, you know, can be a little T trauma, like being embarrassed, be feeling humiliated, feeling rejected, feeling um, unappreciated, feeling abandoned, can kind of border to big T traumas, like experiencing, you know, death of someone extremely important to you, close to you, a parent perhaps, um, you know, being attacked, beaten, raped, all those things are big T traumas. Um, but they're all in the family of traumas nonetheless. And you see, when we experience these things on whatever level, it causes us to feel pain. And this pain is something we on the deepest level want to avoid feeling. And as we grow into adults, that fear of feeling that pain is what blocks us from putting ourselves out there, from taking risks, from taking chances, and experiencing the possibility of feeling that pain again. For example, so many gay men struggle with the fear of judgment, fear of rejection, because at some point or another, they felt rejected or judged. And when that happened, it created this kind of like little wound um, inside of their subconscious mind in which they learned, oh, I shouldn't put myself out there in this way. I shouldn't do X, Y, or Z, because if I do that again, I could feel rejected or judged again, and that doesn't feel good, so I wanna just avoid that altogether. Guys, this is the type of thinking pattern that keeps us stuck in our little comfort zones, in these safe little boxes where we protect ourselves from feeling pain, we, we protect ourselves from feeling harm, but do you know what else it protects us from? Experiencing connections, experiencing love, experiencing relationships where we can be authentic, be vulnerable, and be ourselves. Because guys, when we have those, those walls around our comfort zone up, then yes, it's gonna prevent us from feeling that possibility of feeling pain, but it's also gonna prevent us from, from experiencing ultimate joy and pleasure that comes from relationships. And so, there's a lot of steps to unpacking those core wounds and releasing the power that we give away to those fears. It's a process and it's something that is very helpful when something that works really well when you have the help of someone to support you and encourage you and guide you and help you check your blind spots. Because guys, we're all such good bullshit experts. We're so good at bullshitting ourselves. We can talk ourselves out of practically anything at any time. Um, and this is why we can miss out on really amazing opportunities because we hesitate and that fear blocks us from talking to that guy that we're really attracted to, sending that person a message that we want to reach out to. And instead, we just overthink things and talk ourselves out of taking those actions. But guys, that's what keeps us safe and small. And that's what blocks us from feeling that deep connection, which is on the other side of that fear. And when we have an expert to help us see those blind spots and overcome those fears, it's such a faster, more efficient, more productive process because left to our own devices, we can really shoot ourselves in the foot with allowing those fears to block us and then judging ourselves harshly for letting those fears block us and then just distracting ourselves with a bag of Doritos or alcohol, booze, masturbation and porn or hookups. Um, this is a cycle that so many gay men fall into and one that we have helped hundreds of gay men at Gay Men Thriving, we have helped hundreds of gay men overcome those patterns, that hamster wheel that so many gay men get stuck in and stay trapped in their whole lives. 
But that's why today, guys like Ronnie, who I just got off the phone with, is visiting his boyfriend in person, I believe for the very first time. And they've been dating um, for quite a while, many months now, and even during lockdown, have been able to you know, really connect on a deep level virtually every day. And now here they are meeting in person for the first time, having an incredible experience. Or like Ted and Rob, who have also done energetic attraction coaching in the Game Man Thriving Academy, who met one another doing this work. Once they were able to overcome a lot of those obstacles and barriers with the help of Andrew and myself and the Game Man Thriving team, they were able to meet each other at a higher level of energy and they've attracted one another into this beautiful relationship. They just celebrated six months together. And they are these are two specific examples of, like I said, over a hundred gay men that we've worked with on a very deep level who are now experiencing the quality of life and quality connections and relationships because they've learned how to get out of their own way. They've learned how to climb out of that comfort zone and they've learned how to take risks and how to put themselves out there. And also recognizing that taking risks and things not working out doesn't have to be painful. In fact, it should be celebrated because you're that much closer to meeting that person that you will ultimately land with or connect with. Because guys, if we don't take chances, if we don't take risks, like I said before, if we stay in that tight little comfort zone, life just passes us by. Before you know it, decades go by and so many gay men, especially over the age of 45, are alone, are single. Gay men are the social group most likely to be alone. And that's because we have a very unique set of deep-seated fears and core wounds from rejecting ourselves from a really early age, feeling different, being picked on and made fun of for being feminine or for, you know, just people being able to, to call us queer or call us gay um, because of that. I know that's something that I felt like I had to hide a part of myself for a really long time. And in doing so, I rejected myself in a really deep way. And that's something that led to my substance abuse my fear of rejection, fear of judgment, growing extremely powerful because I gave my power to those fears. It took me a really long time to figure out how to decompartmentalize myself from those fears to separate myself because those fears were just a figment of my imagination. They weren't real and they aren't for any of you. Yes, you've probably, you know, created and, and collected some evidence to prove these theories are true, but guys, when we live our lives based on fear of history or repeating itself, then we stay stuck. These are limiting beliefs that hold us back from experiencing a higher quality of life. And at Gay Man Thriving, it's our mission to help gay men overcome these blocks, these barriers, these obstacles, these limiting beliefs, to rewire their brain to believe in themselves, to feel confident in themselves, to be able to feel safe putting themselves out there without knowing what to expect. Because guys, just because we build our confidence and put ourselves out there, it doesn't guarantee that anybody's gonna pick up what we're putting down. But guys, we also can learn that if somebody doesn't want to return my love or affection or desire or lust, it doesn't mean anything about me. That's them, that's their story, that's their journey. And just because someone doesn't see me the way I see them, doesn't mean that anything is wrong with me doesn't mean anything is wrong with you if someone doesn't want to have sex with you or be your boyfriend or give you their phone number. And guys, once we learn that we don't have to take those things seriously and learn to brush, brush off speed bumps um, when things don't go the way we would hope them to, then guys, we get right back up and we try again. And the more that you do this, the more likely you are to rapidly find this person that you can spend this quality time with, that you can build a deep, loving, meaningful connection with. These guys are out there, but you have to do your part to meet them halfway. Guys, as long as we're waiting for Prince Charming to come knocking on our doors, we're gonna be waiting a really long time. But this doesn't have to be your reality. Guys, you can make things better and it can happen much, much faster than you may believe. So guys, if you're ready to stop sitting on the sidelines in your own life, if you're ready to stop living in that small little box, if you're ready to get out of your comfort zone, start taking quote unquote risks with a support system to guide you, to help you every step of the way, go to GayManThriving.com and schedule a free 15 minute consultation. 
we would love to help explore whether or not one of the programs at Gay Men Thriving Academy is a good fit for you. What have you got to lose?